Alright, this is Scott with TutorialStop.com. Today we're going to take a look at Photoshop's Patch Tool. This is a pretty amazing little tool and it can help you remove blemishes from a photo or just remove entire items from a photo. Let's see how this tool works. The Patch Tool is found in your tool palette right above the clone stamp tool and some of you might be using the single column tool palette it's right there if you have it set to a double column it's found in the first column there and it looks like a little patch it might be found underneath your spot healing so you just click and hold down on that go down to the patch tool and select it now up at the top you want to make sure that source is selected what I'm going to do is um, remove this ball right here the ball with the red stripe I could actually choose any one of these but I'm gonna go with the the one with the red stripe so I was having a good time here at a bar in California so I'm gonna go ahead and jump in here a couple times zoom in so I got my zoom tool you know I just clicked on that to zoom into the ball to get a better idea of what I was doing remember you can always hold down your space key to move you around as well holding down your space key on your keyboard activates the pan tool or you could simply click on the hand tool out here but I prefer the space bar it's very easy to do so now I'm gonna go back and activate the patch tool this is how this works you simply draw you click and hold with the mouse and just drag around the object that you wish to remove to make a selection and I'm gonna let go so you can see I have a selection around the ball then you click and hold down with the mouse and simply slide the selection over to a good area. You can see as I'm sliding it over, it's replacing it's replacing the pixels that are now under this second selection into my first. And you don't want to go too far away because you can see there's a little cover, color difference. Try to get it as close as possible. So probably right in there is pretty good. And you're going to let go. Done. It's gone. If I do a Control D to deselect command D on the Mac or you can simply go to select deselect either way to deselect your selection so remember control D or command D on the Mac I'm gonna zoom this back out to 100 percent if I double click uh, right now I'm on 100 percent so that picture was pretty big so what I'm gonna do instead is click on my zoom tool hold down my alt key to activate the negative zoom tool or the zoom out tool so to speak you can see that ball is gone there's a little chalk spot on there where the uh, near the ball that had nothing to do with the ball there's just a chalk spot on the billiard table so I'm going to zoom back into that we can even remove that chalk spot if we wanted to again get your patch tool to circle around the chalk spot click and drag over let go and you can see it did a nice job removing the chalk spot that was there it uh, put more green into those white pixels it's a great tool so what I'm gonna do now is show you the other option the destination option so I'm gonna revert this I'm gonna go to file revert what file revert does is it reverts your photo to the last save to the last save so I haven't saved this yet so that's fine now, if you saved it anywhere between those steps you're kinda out of luck so file revert returns it to your last save so I'm gonna click on destination this time what you do here again you drag around the object and when you click on the object and move it notice it takes a duplicate of the object when you let go now I have two pool balls so you can take the destination instead and duplicate that I'm gonna undo that and show you another way you can do this another way you can do this I'm just doing control alt Z to back that up command alt Z on the Mac deselect this another way you could do that instead of duplicating it if you want to just remove that ball again is you could highlight some space in here that's about as big as the ball and drag that space over the ball and let go so you have two two different techniques there I prefer to keep it on source highlight the area that I don't want and drag that area to a new location a good location and then it replaces the good location with the object that you wanted removed. So two different two different techniques there. Hope this tutorial helps out. This is the patch tool.